Hey everybody, Maria Marquis here. In this video, we're going to see how a database can evolve through different patterns so that it's always at the speed of your imagination. Let's start with the basics, one big table. I've got one big table of all the people, their office, department, managers, as well as who is their manager. This is a great start and probably will cover me for a pretty long time. But maybe I'm ready to move into a web once I realize that, oh gosh, you know, I need more context about the offices and the departments. I've got some more details I want to include. Well, what I would do to convert this to a web is I just come up here, go to my column options, choose convert to table. I could put it in a new page, but I'm gonna just keep it on this page for now. Go ahead and create that there. We love it. Click here. I'm gonna go ahead to our column options, convert this to a table as well. And now I could start putting in all the extra information like the, the leader of each department. I could also have for the office, like the address, how to connect to the printer, right? Whatever I needed to do here. And then when I'm coming up to this table, I now on that hover, am able to see all the information. So this database has gotten richer and more interesting. We've got a good looking web, but now maybe I want to use extract and summarize to start to understand the bigger trends that's happening across our people. So here I've got that nice little relation column for the office. And by using the this row formula, I have the total number of employees at each office and the total number of managers. And I did that just by combining filter and this row. So the people, we filter where the office is this row and then we count. We did the same thing for managers where we said, hey, take a look at that table, filter where the office is this row and is manager is true, and then we count it. So notice how this is evolving so we can get more information about what's happening in our data set. And then we could move into bi-directional, right? Maybe we wanna have that relation column and we make it a linked relationship so that any changes we make here with our managers also show up down here with who their people are, right? So maybe uh, Rachel is now going to be reporting to Ashley instead of Sarah. We make that change. We also see it down here that we see Sarah and Rachel having those swaps. So now you can see how you're not locked in. You can always change, you can always grow, and you can always try out those new patterns to give you what you need from your CodaDoc databases. So now it's your turn. Try it out, evolve a little bit, and I'll see you next time.